Hey Ross World, my money makes money. This is a money rip. Bitcoin. What the fuck is going on? Electronic currencies, cryptocurrencies, uh, money that is not tangible. We are now living in the 22nd century. It was the 21st century, but now it's the 22nd century where we're gonna wear little meters and stuff on our arm and we're gonna just tap somebody or send it via chip from our brain and pay. Two types of technology or one type of technology depend on what coin it is. You got pot coin, lick coin, erythium, Bitcoin, uh, steel coin, I don't know. They have over 20 different types of cryptocurrencies. Now, if we're gonna go electronic, why couldn't it just be Bitcoin? Why couldn't it just be one coin? And if I'm in India and I have $10 of their money, and I'm an American, I have $10 of our money, and when I transfer it to Bitcoin, regardless, it's still $10 in Bitcoin, and now the money is now universal and it's worth the same amount. It levels the playing field. Instead of me going to uh, Mexico with $10 of our money, then it's worth like $100 of their money. But if they use 10 pesos or 100 pesos, whatever, 10, it equates to $10. $10 of their money equals $10 of our money in the Bitcoin, in the electronic currency era, the area, the, the, the digital world, okay? The, the World Wide Web, whatever. Why couldn't it just be a way, a means to level the playing field? But now, everybody's popping up with some type of electronic coin, black coin and this coin and that coin. But the major and leader of it all, the president, is Bitcoin. Some Japanese guy started this, and I just hope that this levels the playing field instead of causing more confusion because now our kids and their kids have to learn all about cryptocurrency. Investing, savings, and budgeting, some of you saying, hey, it's easy, easily done. No. You got the Forex trade market. You got foreign markets. Their uh, um, annuities, insurance, uh, lending companies. There's so many ways to make money. There's so many ways to lose money. What the heck is going on? I'm trying to figure out as I'm teaching people about money, as I'm learning about money, now we have to learn about new money? Are you crazy? That money that we never touch, that we just read on our phones, on a computer, or some sort of mainframe? And there's some sort of electronic ledger that is kept and that everybody can see the transactions? Okay, maybe there will be no electronic crooks. So right now, these cryptocurrencies cannot be raped, robbed like a bank could for tangible money. Who knows? But we all know this. Everything, everything can be hacked. Uber just was hacked, right? Uber just was hacked. And, that, and I'm not saying they have some grade A security system, Cisco system backing them. But what I'm saying is Wells Fargo has been hacked. So if a bank can be hacked, if all these entities with money can be hacked, do you think that Bitcoin can eventually be hacked? I think so. So if Bitcoin is hacked and you have $10,000 in Bitcoin and it's been hacked and then someone threw it in a secure uh, a mainframe of their own that they created and have it bounced off different servers around the world and now your money is now lost, did your money just get robbed? Did your cryptocurrency get robbed? Did your electronic ledger record that? I mean, tell me. I'm confused. All this goddamn bullshit about electronic currency. Now, I just released a video about Bitcoin and how to read up on it. And I tell you that, hey, I got money inside of it. So you're saying, hey, that's a big contradiction. No, it's not. I am just trying to wait. I'm just trying to move the way the world is. But that don't mean I like it. Do I like Bitcoin? I don't know. I don't know if I like the other cryptocurrencies. All of them are in the big bag and I'm trying to figure out what is the right thing to do? Because I got a grasp on this regular money currency stuff, okay, the world currencies. Now you're telling me I gotta learn about digital currencies, cryptocurrencies, and block ledgers, and blockchains, and 
all these different terminologies. And I just learned about investment savings budget, right? You're like, yeah, I just learned about this. I just learned about annuities. I just learned about real estate. Now you're telling me I got to learn about electronic currencies too. I got to invest in Bitcoin. I don't know that much about it. This is fucking ridiculous. Yes, this is outrageous. As I'm talking, name some words that I can help me out to explain how dismal this is. This is just crazy, okay? So this is my take on Bitcoin. E-coin and black coin and pop coin and lick coin and whatever coins they come out with. How about this? How about come out with nothing? <laughs> how about if this doesn't help the world to level the playing field, erase it. You know, when you have files on your computer, you're like, I don't need that no more. You're cleaning out your hard drive. If it's all digital, erase it. If it's not helping the people. But if it's giving access and help and support and understanding to level the playing field when it comes to currency and exchanging and helping poor countries to now play in the big boys world, then by all means, let it ride and let it succeed and let it grow. This is Ross World where I hope Bitcoin and all these other cryptocurrencies really are good for the people and not for the people behind it. I'm out.